Hi. When uh, when I had first got the bright idea that I wanted to drive a truck, um, I searched YouTube um, on how to shift a big truck. Um, I've driven plenty of stick before, but I hadn't ever driven, obviously, a stick in a big truck. Um, so I searched YouTube, and I, I really couldn't come up with anything um, that was really, I guess, educational. Um, I found a lot of videos of, uh, of guys just kind of driving down the road and shifting their truck, but there wasn't really any kind of explanation or anything. And uh, I probably could have used that. Uh, but with uh, USX, all of their trucks uh, were automatic up until, um, let's see, 2010, and they, uh, they're switching back to uh, manuals. Um, so I'm going to post this, uh, this video. We'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm going to teach you how to drive a, a stick in a big truck without ever even starting it. So let's see how this goes. Here we are. All right. This is my uh, 2011 Freightliner Cascadia. Um, you can see here we have a 10 speed and um, it's really pretty simple just uh, the, the biggest thing that I learned is, is don't uh, don't overthink it. it it's not as hard as, uh, as I tried to make it out to be um, you've got your gear pattern on the uh, on the doghouse and you also have the gear pattern here on your shifter uh, basically what you have is a, uh, is a, a 5 speed uh, with low and high. Um, this being a 10 speed it just has a, a high low range button on the front of it and you can see that the, it's, it's air assisted so right now it's in the down position so we are in a low range. If you pick it up you can hear a little puff of air and it puts it into high range. Down is low. Okay so you want to start out in low. Now there's two different ways to, uh, to shift, a, shift a big truck. You can see you got your uh, clutch, your brake, and your gas. Um, the first uh, first way, um, and, and when you go to take your test, DOT wants you to double clutch. Now what that consists of is just pushing in on the clutch. You've got it in gear. Um, usually, generally, if you've got a trailer on you, you start out in second. So you're going to uh, let the clutch out, and you're going to start moving. Um, you know, you give it, give it gas. You know, just like you would, just like you would a car. Just, just, just think of it as a car. So you, you're going to wind it out in second gear. You're going to push the clutch in, let out, you know, let off the gas. Push the clutch in, and you're going to pull a shifter into neutral. And let the clutch out, and then step on the clutch a second time, and pull it back into third, and then let the clutch out again. All right that's double clutching okay so now we're in third we're gonna wind it out just like you would in a car or a pickup truck or anything else you're gonna push the clutch in go into neutral let the clutch out push the clutch in again and go to fourth it's just that simple um, now when you go into fifth gear as soon as you go into fifth gear Pick up on that. That's going to put. Um, um, that's that's called pre-selecting your range. You're in fifth gear. Okay, you're you're winding out in fifth gear. Pull up on that, and then, just like you have been doing, wind it out in fifth. Push the clutch in. Put it up into neutral. Let the clutch out. Push the clutch in a second time, and then look at your look at your uh, gear pattern here. You can see here first is also sixth when you've put it into high range and you wound it out in fifth gear you're gonna go back to first which because now you're in high range that is uh, that first is now sixth it's just that simple and then you continue on through the gears just like you have been doing push the clutch in push it into neutral let the clutch out push the clutch in again and go to the next gear it's just that simple. Now, when you're accelerating, that's uh, that's the easy part, you know, because you're consistently gaining speed. Um, the tricky part to this is slowing down. Um, <clears throat> how do I want to explain this? Um, as you're slowing down, okay, let's say you're in you're in tenth gear. You're slowing down. Um, you still want to double clutch just like you've been doing, but what you're going to do is uh, is push the clutch in, 
push it up into neutral, okay? Let the clutch out, push the clutch in a second time, and rev it up just a little bit, maybe just a couple hundred RPMs, and then put it into down into ninth. Um, these the, the difference between these transmissions versus a car or a pickup truck or something like that is these transmissions are not synchronized. Um, that, that's a topic for another video. But as you're downshifting, you want your RPMs to be up a little bit higher to compensate for the fact that you're going into a lower gear. And then um, once you, okay, now we're in ninth. Okay, we're going to slow down a little bit more and then just do the exact same thing. Push the clutch in. Pull it up into neutral, let the clutch out, push the clutch back in, rev it up just a little bit, and pull it into eighth and let the clutch out. It's just that simple. Now, as you get better, um, you know, a lot of drivers will tell you, well, a clutch is only for starting and stopping. Well, as you get better, you'll, you'll start doing what they call floating the gears, um, and you don't use the clutch. Um, in, in that situation, okay, let's say, let's say we're starting out, we've got a tra loaded trailer, we're in second gear, okay? Um, as you wind it out, your, your, your RPMs are going to get to the point, and, and you want to have a little backwards pressure on the shifter. And when your RPMs get to the right point, um, you can just kind of just pull it right out of gear. It'll just fall right out of gear. Um, and then what you want to do is let off the accelerator a little bit as you're as you're going up through the gears you want your RPMs to be a little bit lower when you're going into the next gear as you're downshifting like I said you want your RPMs to be up a little bit as you're going into the lower gear um, so floating the gears okay you wound it out in second like I said you'll you'll feel it um, and it'll just come right out of second gear you let off the accelerator and and it'll just drop right into the next gear which would be third. Now that's that's something you just gotta kinda get used to and, and you'll just learn it on your own. Um, the, I had another driver tell me tell me a little trick. Um, let's say you're pulling up to a, uh, to a stoplight um, and it's red and then it changes to green. Okay, let's say you're doing 40 miles an hour and, uh, and now the light has turned to green. Well, I mean, you've got, you've got 10 gears to choose from what gear do you want? Well, let's say um, let's say you were in tenth, and uh, and you've slowed down for the uh, stoplight. You're approaching the stoplight. You you did not downshift at all. You're still in tenth gear. Okay. So let's say you get down to 40 miles an hour, and the light turns green. There's nobody in front of you. What gear do you choose? Um, looking at the speedometer. Now this uh, this works for both upshifting and downshifting, but it really helped me in that situation of a, of a traffic light, which gear do I choose? Okay, look at your speedometer. Add the numbers together and that should equal the gear that you should be in. 1 plus 5 is 6, so you should be in 6th gear. 2 plus 5 is 7, you should be in 7th gear. 3 plus 5 is 8, you should be in 8th gear. 4 plus 5 is 9, you should be in 9th gear. And then 5 plus 5 is 10, you should be in 10th gear. So let's say that in that scenario we've slowed down to 40 and the lights turned green. Um, you could either go to ninth gear or you could uh, go to eighth gear. Um, you're, you're kind of splitting the difference there. Um, with a loaded trailer, I would probably drop it down into uh, into eighth, so you've got a little bit of power to uh, to start accelerating. Um, but just remember that that one, once you start getting better at this. Just kind of glance down at your speedometer, you know, and, and add the two numbers together, you know, of, of how fast you're going, and that will tell you what gear you should be in. Um, and uh, and and really, that that's all that that that's to it. Um, once you can, once you get, pick the steering wheel up here. Once you get double clutching down, um, you'll start floating the gears after you after you get used to double clutching now you know obviously you know you're going to be doing this a little bit faster than what I did um, you know but uh, but that will come with time too but that's basically how you do it um, the one thing that you have to remember though with uh, with slowing down um, is your high low range um, let's say uh, let's say you slow down let's say you slow down to um, uh, 
let's see. Let's say you slowed down to uh, to 10 miles an hour, and the uh, and this uh, uh, traffic light has turned to green. Well, um, then you're going to need to go to the low range, and you're going to go into fifth gear. Um, yeah, fifth gear. Um, what I what I kind of noticed is is anything less. Go back to the speedometer here. Anything less, if you get, if your speed gets down below 15 miles an hour, okay, remember 1 plus 5 is 6, that's 6th gear, 6th gear is high range. So if your speedometer falls below 15 miles an hour, move your selector to the low range, and then go into 5th gear. Um, now that's a, uh, that's how a 10 speed works, and then, you know, that now, now you're back into 5th gear, so you wind it out. You know, double clutch, like I, like I said, you know, push the clutch in, put it up into neutral, um, push the clutch in a second time, and then go to high range and pull it into sixth. If you, if you just, if, don't make it any more complicated than what it is. Um, just think about it as, uh, as, as uh, a five speed, and then you pick up on the selector. And then it's another five speed. Um, it, it's really just that simple. Uh, got any questions? Give me, uh, give me, drop me a line, and I'll see if I can help you. See ya.